Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today let's learn how to use Bluetooth file sharing. So suppose you're at a coffee shop with a friend or a meeting with a colleague. You've got two Macs but you've got no way to share files. There's no network and you've got no cables and nobody thought to bring one of those thumb drives. How can you get a file from one Mac to the other? Well, it turns out you can do that using Bluetooth. Bluetooth file sharing is available in Leopard and can be used in just about any Mac. Let's look at how. So the first thing you want to do on both Macs is turn on Bluetooth file sharing. Do that by going to the System Preferences, choosing Sharing, and choosing Bluetooth sharing. Now there's a whole bunch of options but for this example we'll just use all the defaults. The next thing you want to do is go back to the System Preferences and select Bluetooth. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Discoverable and also check off Show Bluetooth Status in the menu bar. It will make things a lot easier. Now you should see a Bluetooth icon up in the menu bar at the top right part of your screen. Click on that and you'll see some Bluetooth options. One of them is Send File. Click Send File and what you'll get is a dialog box that shows you different files. You select one and you'll get another box saying Send File to and you've got a list of Bluetooth devices. Now if the other person has turned on Bluetooth like they should have then you'll see their computer show up there. Select that and hit Send. What it will do at this point is it's going to go ahead and give you a little box here waiting for that machine to accept the item. On the other person's computer they're going to get a little dialog box saying something's trying to be sent to them via Bluetooth. Do they accept it? And they have to confirm and they'll get the file. If you plan on doing this a lot you've got a lot of options you should check out back in the Bluetooth sharing preferences. Uh, you can set what happens when somebody's trying to send you an item. Uh, here's ask what to do which is what the default is and it'll give you a dialog box. But you can also automatically accept it. You can autom automatically accept and open the item or you can turn that off. You can also require that first the other machine is paired with yours. In other words they have permission to connect to your machine. Um, you can set what folder these items go to. You can also go ahead and allow people to browse your public folder uh, either by first requiring them to connect to your machine first um, and you can also have uh, permission that need to be granted for uh, somebody to browse your public folder as well. The Bluetooth file sharing is a great option for getting a file from one Mac to another when there's no available network or you don't have any cables or a thumb drive. But of course the two Macs have to be pretty close to each other. Bluetooth has very limited range. You also should be able to use this to transfer files from other types of devices that have Bluetooth to your Mac although I haven't tested that out. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.